celebrate the Eucharist of the Lord, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, to you my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, done and in what, what I have failed, failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask, I ask blessed, blessed Mary of a virgin, virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to, to pray, pray for, for me to, to the Lord, Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts, we may merit to attain eternal life. So Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, on the 21st day of the seventh month, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Tell this to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, son of Shealtiel, and to the high priest Joshua, son of Jehozadak, and to the remnant of the people. Who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory? And how do you see it now? Does it not seem like nothing in your eyes? But now take courage, Zerubbabel, says the Lord, and take courage, Joshua, high priest, son of Jehozadak, and take courage, all the people of the land, says the Lord, and work. For I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. 
This is the pact that I made with you when you came out of Egypt and my spirit continues in your midst. Do not fear, for thus says the Lord of hosts, one moment yet a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations, and the treasures of all the nations will come in. And I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. Mine is the silver and mine the gold, says the Lord of hosts. Greater will be the future glory of this house than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give you peace, says the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Do me justice, O God, and fight my fight against the faithless people. From the deceitful and impious man, rescue me. Hope in God. I will praise him, my Savior and my God. For you, O oh God, are my strength. Why do you keep me so far away? Why must I go about in mourning with the enemy oppressing me? Hope in God. I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Send forth your light and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain, to your dwelling place. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. Then will I go in to the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then will I give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. Hope in God, I will praise him, my Savior and my God. We now rise to honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Herod the Tetrarch heard about all that was happening, and he was greatly perplexed because some were saying, John has been raised from the dead. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others, Elijah. Still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked them and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, The Son of Man must suffer greatly 
and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. May the brothers and sisters of the Lord, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A wise teacher will ask pertinent questions in order to draw out good answers from the students. And Jesus is our divine teacher. So when he was with his disciples, he asked them point blank, who do people, who do the crowd say that I am? From what they heard in being with the crowd, with other people, some said, they say you are John the Baptist, that brave, so, who confronted Herod and told him that he was scandalizing the people with his immoral life. John the Baptist, who told people to repent and be baptized in order to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Others say that he was Elijah, that great prophet who challenged the prophets of Baal in Mount Tabor and proved to them that there was only one true God and this is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Still others, they said, that Christ is one this or that prophet he figured in their minds as a prophet, just as our brothers and sisters of the Islamic faith will tell us that he's only a prophet. We too will be asked, what do you think of Christ? And immediately we'll go to what we have learned from our parents from school, from listening to homilies on Sundays, from what we read in books or saw in movies. Yet, this is not enough because Christ will come to us with that very important question asking about you personally, who do you say that I am? There's a difference between saying who Christ is from what they learned, obtained from others, and telling Christ who He is in our lives, how important Jesus is in our hearts and in our lives. This proved true in the experience of people who were invited to a big party and there were celebrities in that party. At the start of the celebration, the master of ceremonies invited a noted, a very famous actor, good looking and very articulate to say something in form of prayer. And to the surprise of everyone, the actor recited Psalm 23, saying, The Lord is my shepherd. There's nothing I shall want. Even if I walk through the valley of darkness, I fear no evil, for he is with me. At the end of his recitation of Psalm 23, the audience rose to a man and gave him a standing ovation so masterful, so skillful, so artistic was his recitation of the psalm, The Lord is my shepherd. 
and everybody settled down to eat and drink and laugh through the night. Towards the end of the party, the massive ceremonies again interrupted the guests and said, My dear friends, it's now time to close this party with a prayer. And to the surprise of everyone, he pointed to an old priest and invited that old priest to come to the podium, to the stage, and address the people with a closing prayer. And to the surprise again of everyone, the priest said as his closing prayer, the same Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, yet not gifted with that ability, that with that talent which this great actor had who recited the Psalm 23 before him, his recitation pale in comparison. And when he sat down, people smiled and even joked about the performance of the priest. And some of the table mates of that great actor asked him, what do you think of the performance of that old priest? And humbly, the great actor said, I might know the prayer, the Lord is my shepherd, but that old priest over there knows who the good shepherd is in his life. My dear brothers and sisters, time and again we have heard about what Christ is. Movies sensationalizing his life like the Da Vinci Code or The Last Temptation. Movies which try to put down who Christ is really in our faith. Sometimes we doubt about the truth, the lessons we learn from our parents, from our teachers about the person of Christ. There will come a time when we will be challenged about what we think who Christ really is in our lives. Let this be our prayer this evening that after listening to so many homilies, interacting with people, especially with the poor with whom Christ identifies himself when he said, Whatever you do to the least of my brothers, you do it for me. After listening to sacred scriptures, for Saint Jerome said, if we don't know the scriptures, we don't know Christ. Or he said, ignorance of scriptures is ignorance of Christ. And this evening, we have the special privilege not only of listening to God's word, but of appreciating his real presence among us. We take his body in the form of bread, and when the time comes, when it is already allowed, we'll receive him in his blood in Holy Communion so that we will become more and more Christ-like and be able to say truly and sincerely from our hearts like St. Peter confessing before all who Christ for him is when he said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen. My brothers and sisters, it is our faith in Jesus, the Son of God, which unites us as members of this community. In his name, 
Let us bring our intentions before the Father. And our answer will be, perfect our faith, O Father. Perfect our faith, O Father. That the Pope and the bishops may keep the church in the faith of Peter, we pray. Perfect, Perfect our faith, faith, O Father. Father. That our elected officials may respect the right to life of the unborn, the aged, and the helpless, we pray. Perfect, Perfect our, our faith, faith, O Father. Father. That consecrated priests and religious may be faithful to their commitment to God and to the people they are called to serve, we pray. Perfect our, our faith, O Father. That the sick may be strengthened and persevering in their faith, we pray. Perfect, Perfect our, our faith, faith, O Father. That those who have gone ahead of us in this life may enjoy a new life in God's presence, we pray. Perfect, Perfect our, our faith, faith, O Father. Father. And we pray for our other intentions. We pray. Perfect, Perfect our, our faith, faith, O Father. Father. God of mercy and compassion, through the merits of our Savior, he the prayers of your church, confessing with Peter our faith in Christ your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray that this, our sacrifice, may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs to these heavenly mysteries through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Ernesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but, but deliver, deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to eternal life. Amen. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
ay matipon din at maging bayan mong gilim isang Panginoon isang katawan isang bayan isang lahi Sa'yo'y nagpupugay Katulad din ang mga ubas Na piniga at naging alam Sino mang uminom nito May buhay na walang Ay maging sangkap sa pagbuo nitong bayang liyag Isang Panginoon, isang katawan, isang bayan, isang lahi Sa'yo'y nagpupugay Isang Panginoon Isang katawan Isang bayan Isang lahi Sa'yo'y nagpupugay Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Announcement. The shrine is now open for Mass goers at 10 a.m. and 4 p.m on Sundays and 6 p.m. on weekdays. Kindly bring your vaccination cards. Those who are fully vaccinated will be allowed inside, while the others may stay in front of the shrine where they can attend the Mass. Please follow the minimum safety protocols of wearing face mask and face shield and maintaining physical distancing from one another. Thank you for your cooperation, Reverend Father Ronnie Chrysostomo, SVD, Shrine Rector. We will now have our devotion to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Sacrament divine, all praise. 
sacred heart praise to the sacred heart who wrought our salvation praise to the sacred heart who wrought our salvation we praise you Lord Jesus Christ because we know the love you have for us we thank you for your word which reveals to us the love of your heart we thank you for this source of grace which streams forth to eternal life we praise you, open heart of Jesus. Through you we have access to the Father. We praise you because you loved your own who were in the world to the very end. We praise you for your love that is stronger than death. We thank you for setting the earth on fire. Praise to the sacred heart who wrought our salvation. Praise and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor and power and strength to our God forever and ever. Amen. Heart of Jesus, full of compassion for the people. Many people followed him and he cured them all, but he warned them not to make him known. This was to fulfill what had been spoken through Isaiah the prophet. Behold my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom I delight. I shall place my spirit upon him, and he will proclaim justice to the Gentiles. He will not contend or cry out, nor will anyone hear his voice in the streets. A bruised reed he will not break, a smoldering wick he will not quench until he brings justice to victory, and in his name the Gentiles will hope. 
Jesus, full of love, had mercy on the people, all who were despised by others, all who were in need, found understanding and refuge with him. He gave food to the hungry. He brought the good news to the poor, invited those who were tired from carrying their heavy loads and gave them rest. The eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, those who hope in his steadfast love. That he may deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. Lord Jesus Christ, rich as you were, you made yourself poor for our sake, in order to make us rich by means of your poverty. We thank you for your love you showed us. Help us to help one another as members of your body that we may not get tired of doing good. Open our eyes to the needs of others. Open our hands that we may share with others what we have. Jesus, full of mercy for your people, form our hearts according to your heart. In the silence of our hearts, we present to the compassionate heart of Jesus our needs, prayers, and intentions. May the darkness of sin and the night of unbelief vanish before the light of the Word and the Spirit of grace. And may the heart of Jesus live in the hearts of all. Amen. Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country and the whole world. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray, pray for us. Saints Arnold Johnson and Joseph Fernandez, pray, pray for us. Tantum ergo. 
sacramento. Venere morcer nui et anticum documento novo cedat ritui priset fides supplementum sensum defectui genitori genetoque laus et jubilatio salus honor virtus coque sit et benedictio procedenti abotroque comparsi You have given them bread from heaven, containing in itself all sweetness. Let us pray, O oh God, in this wonderful sacrament, you have left us as a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to venerate the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may ever feel within us the fruit of your redemption, you live and rule, world without end. Amen. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the Comforter. Blessed be the Great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.
Full of grace, the Lord.